Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. In last video, we talked about frequency division multiplexing or FDM, a multiplexing method used to divide a channel into many non-overlapping subchannels. FDM allows multiple users to share one single link. Today I will talk about orthogonal frequency division multiplexing or OFDM, a variation of FDM. OFDM is a very popular multiplexing method used for many of the latest wireless and telecommunication standards such as Wi-Fi AO2.11ac, 4G and 5G cellular phone technologies, WiMAX, Satellite, and many others. First, let's compare FDM and OFDM in general. FDM allows multiple users to share one link by dividing available bandwidth into different non-overlapping subchannels. A guard band, a narrow frequency range, is inserted between adjacent subchannels so that different signals travel separately and simultaneously without interfering with each other. In OFDM, on the other hand, those subchannels are closely spaced. Not only there is no guard band between them, but actually they are overlapped. We can see that with the same available bandwidth, OFDM would allow more data transmissions than FDM. But how does OFDM prevent interference while multiple subchannels overlap each other? Let's look at this example. Suppose we have three different signals to send over one shared channel. OFDM would combine them closely together in a way they are orthogonal to each other. What's the meaning of the word orthogonal anyway? The word orthogonal means the two or multiple objects act independently. In this case, any neighbor signals in OFDM operate without dependence on or interference with one another. Let me explain why. Now look closely at these three signals to see why they are orthogonal to each other. Let's focus on the middle signal in color sky blue or cyan. When the signal reaches its peak, the highest point, its two neighbors pink signal and a yellow signal are at their zero point or at the null. The same is true for pink signal. When pink signal reaches the highest point peak, the other two signals land at zero point. With the same pattern, yellow signal's peak corresponds with zero point of other two signals. Therefore, Orthogonal means signals are multiplexed in a way that the peak of one signal occurs at the null of other neighbor signals. At the receiving end, the demultiplexer would separate them based on this orthogonal feature. OFDM would better utilize available bandwidth, thus offering high data transmission rate than FDM. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.